Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a technology and business consulting company that helps organizations initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. This video, along with others on our channel, should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, peer overviews, and take part in lessons we've designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community, and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks, and enjoy. So here's a, yeah, a typical, well, again, this is uh, sample basic. So uh, in this example, you have uh, two cubes. One's a planning cube that has all your dimensions, and one's a market analysis cube that in that cube, you really don't need product, the product I mentioned, so that one's dropped. So what you can do, uh, th so the data export functionality was, you know, first came out in, in 9 and is obviously still there, and it's, it's great. We, we love it, and we use it a lot. Uh, it has the ability, like I said, to export to rec directly to a relational table. It could export to a file uh, in text format, in binary format, uh, and it, it's pretty, pretty powerful. And you can call it from a calc script. That's what makes it powerful. You can say fix on this, this, and this, and then run the data export. Um, this is, so to, to take a step back for a second, this isn't, you know, the only way to, uh, to get this information between cubes. There's XREF functionality. XREF is, you know, external reference. You can, you can write formulas or calcs to say, in this cube, reference this other cube and pull information across. Uh, that's totally doable, and actually in 1112 there's x x read and x write, uh, which is which is great. Uh, but really, there's a there's an issue. Um, you, you could have a block creation issue when you're transferring information from one cube to the other. So the way to solve that is to turn on this setting that says, you know, create blocks on equation or create all potential something something. Uh, we've seen that it actually has a significant impact on, on performance of that data transfer. Um, and even just turning create blocks on equation can have an, an impact. Uh, it depends on you know, how the database is set up, how big it is. Uh, you, know, you, may, you may be saying, well, we use that all the time. And that's great. It, it may be perfect for your model, uh, but it's not perfect for every model. So, so in this example, uh, in, in the diagram here, you have a planning cube. And you come out of uh, you come out of planning with the with the data export, and then right away you come back into the market analysis cube with a SQL load rule, and we actually called out the SQL, and it says basically select everything off that table, summarize the the amount, drop out the product dimension, and group by everything else. And so if you do a level zero export out of uh, out of planning, you actually transfer it to the other cube and dynamically summarize it on the way in. Um, you could do a similar functionality with uh, partitions, you know, replicated partitions, you know, do the same thing. So this, isn't, this is just another way, another idea, another tool in the toolbox, that's all. Uh, but it's, it's pretty effective and fast because you're using a focused, you know, a, a, good, a better example of this would be you have a headcount planning module. So you have a, you know, you're planning people, uh, people's salaries. That you're building up that you know line item, and you want that to transfer to your departmental expense planning module, and you want that you know the salaries for a department to hit uh, in the other queue. Well, this is a great way to do it. You you can um, you know have you could actually run this process in the background if you wanted to, or you could uh, expose it to the end users via a business rule and have them. Uh, select the information, you know, and have their security apply, and only transfer what's associated uh, with, to to what they're real, what's relevant to them. Uh, again, like I said, maybe maybe you have this running in the background, uh, and you have an XREF calc that you uh, have the user, you know, initiate um, um, every, you know, whenever they need it. This could be a nightly process to dynamically synchronize the information between the two different uh, two different applications. Again, a perfect example would be the salary and a departmental expense planning module. <coughs> Excuse me. The, so this is, again, I talked about uh, task lists. So this could actually be integrated into a task list as well. So step one in the task list is begin the data transfer. What that does is that launches a business rule, the runtime prompt, 
uh, and you know you're, you're only going to be able to see you're only going to be able to export or select things that your security profile says that you have access to. In the beginning, I showed two different access, uh, two different security methods. Business rules in this in this context are accessing the security in the planning repository and only showing you what you have um, access to. So that gets written into the calc, it gets exported, and then again, you can initiate the second step via a, um, a, sec a task list uh, and a couple other things. Uh, basically, you would, you would need to have, there's a technique to have, uh, to tell the database, a relational database, you know, fire this process and actually import, um, you know, use a max L and import on the other side. Uh, just as for, for those of you that are uh, um, haven't been uh, on 1112 yet, there's a you know you're integrating um, S-based functionality into PL SQL, which is terrific. There's a S, you know you, you can actually use PL SQL to interact with S-based and, and get information, uh, which which is pretty exciting. So again, here's just you know these are just the details on on how to how to do that transfer. Um, 